Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL and I'm talking to you about Ballistic Overkill. Ballistic Overkill is a game that I have all but ignored. It didn't look like something I can enjoy and I didn't assume it would be good because it's 4 99 and on early access. And I was like, uh, uh, you know, it didn't really appear on my radar. Uh, until Liam from Gaming on Linux yesterday in the conversation we had talked about it and he said it was pretty good, you know, he felt like it was worth, worth your time. And he's a smart dude, so the moment we'd finished that, yeah, that conversation, I went and purchased it with my own actual money. Well, a credit card. Well, PayPal. Uh, I I purchased it anyway with my own money is the point. Uh, it's a game that gets uh, recently very positive overall. Or mostly positive. It's been out since October 2015. It's an early access title that appears to be being developed like an early access title. It seems like they're actually like going, okay, well, let's play it. Let, let, let's release a patch. Right, people liked it, people didn't like it, let's change some things, let's add our next feature. It seemed like, you know, an actual development process, not one of these games where they go, just stick early access on it and if people hate it, we'll change it. It seems like actual development, which is really nice. Um, I've played about, about an hour and a half of it. I actually had to stop myself playing last night because I wanted to do an early look video. And as you guys know on this channel, I don't like to look at video at the games and I've played loads and loads of hours because I get jaded or have a different perspective um, and I like to do things early on. So <clears throat> let's have a look. Uh, the game, oh, about the game, it's uh, it's got this really nice write-up which is actually one of the better ones I've seen for, a, for an early access title. It's really like thorough write-up that tells you a lot about the game. It's informative and everything, so uh, that's nice. Uh, the screenshots uh, for the game, I don't feel really do it that much justice um it's very colorful which it is but like this here looks like spray paint on the floor it's actually like a holographic floaty thing uh which is pretty cool um and yeah generally the, the level design isn't really shown off in these screenshots that well uh, it's all sort of close com cl close quarter photographs but there's some pretty impressive stuff to be seen in this game uh, it's actually pretty cool uh, so let's get out and have a look at the requirements and i can tell you now there's no surprises here you need a half decent graphics card um dual core and a bun 2 12 4 in the us so no surprises there are you at the point where you can look at a game and go i can run that you don't really have to check this yeah i don't check specs before i buy a game I probably should okay uh people have played 4.2 hours 14 hours 102 hours 14 hours 3.9 hours 360. Yeah, people seem to be getting their 499s worth of value out of this game, which is really good. It's a really good thing, that is. Uh, that's cool. So, let's have a little look. See. Now, it's worth saying that right now, it's like it's like quarter to nine, uh, nine o'clock in the morning uh, on a Tuesday. You do not get full servers at nine o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday unless you're playing Call of Duty or something. Uh, so, expect to see empty servers. I can tell you that when I was playing last night, about 6 p.m. Uh, yesterday evening, I was seeing many, many full servers and a very active player base. But please don't let it put you off. You're about to see very few. <laughs> very few. Look at this. Yeah, there's lots of servers. There's not a lot of people playing. Um, it's, yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, there are there are people playing this game. It seems to me from my night of play that there's enough people that you can get a game, no problem. So let's have a look at the options menu first. The options menu is quite basic, but does the job. You've got quality from, it goes from medium, from low to medium to high. Resolution options, of course. Uh, full screen, V-Sync, anti-aliasing, and motion blur. The only thing I have to turn off is motion blur, because I really, 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 really don't like it. Uh, it makes me feel a bit seasick, it's horrible. Uh, language, English, in-game chats turned on, and we've got music volumes and sound effects volumes, which is fine. Uh, I would like a bit more granularity in this, like I'd like to be able to, like, a proper buttons, you know. Uh, I dare say that's in their development plan because it seems odd just to have that and nothing else. Control options are pretty straightforward as well. Uh, so yeah, here you go. Yay! Uh, let's have a look at the, the other thing. So we've got this early access Season 0 here, which gives you unlockables and things. Um, the fact it says Season 0 makes me think that as soon as it's out of early access, they're going to have Season 1 and then possibly change the seasons fairly regularly, which would be nice and cool. That'd be pretty good. Uh, and there are different classes in the game. So if I go soldiers, you can see all the different classes. The only one I've really played is the Grenadier, which I enjoyed, but genuinely couldn't get a kill. I was just rubbish with it. Uh, and then I played quite a bit of the tank class last night, uh, which is pretty cool. He can take a few hits, and his gun seems to just keep shooting till the end of time, which is awesome. Uh, so skills, click to provoke, and uh, well prepared, I don't know. 
<laughs> so let's have a look at the game, shall we? Let's go to the server browser. Uh, and we're going to choose others. Before I show you uh, the, the level that's currently being played, but because it's fairly full. Let me show you the level that struck me. It's been quite pretty. Now, there's no one on this game. There's no one on this right now. So it's just going to be sort of a level walk around. But as I said, wrong time of day to be playing games. Unless it's Call of Duty, then there's literally always people playing. So let's go. Okay, so uh, the safe zone here. Look, safe zone. Safe zone. The in and out. Uh, that was actually my first criticism. Uh, the safe zone, where you spawn is a safe room. Essentially, people can't get in or out of it. Uh, apart from your team now there's no vision some of the, this is quite simple because it's one room but some of them are like a little bit like there's this like a corner and stuff it, there's no visual cues on the screen when i exit a safe zone which left me a little bit confused like I, when i first load up i was like oh i'm entering a safe zone um, and then it's only afterwards i realized no no this is exiting a safe zone so it would like it, it would be better if there's a visual cue but that's just one thing i noticed check out the foliage nice there we go very blue very blue and then outside look at that what a level yeah stunning i really like that that was cool yeah nice level is that get yeah, glass there you go i like walking on that it makes me nervous i'll, I'll mash it up a little bit <laughs> yeah what a level really impressive um very sort of when i first saw that i was like holy shit cool yeah, you can even look. You can even see bullet shots on the roof. Look, you know, that's quite a way away. Yeah, good, good stuff there. Um, I really, really, really was stunned on this level. And uh, the, even though it looks massive, like because you're under a dome that, that sort of doesn't, it's not like quite a dome shape. Um, it's not as big as it seems. It does, it is sort of manageable size. Uh, but I re I really like, really like it. Yeah, really nice. Uh, you got this old, like, old worldy foliage and stuff. Uh, and, and then when you look up there, I look at when it ran in. Never happened. Yeah, all the old worldy foliage and stuff. And you look up there, and it's like science fiction. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'd like, I'd like to think there's a greater world. Like they've got a greater story plan, but they just haven't put it in. Or it's just a PvP shooter. <laughs> uh, so yeah, nice level. Just I wanted to show you that birds and everything. I wonder if you can take out the birds. Oh, that's gonna keep me occupied. I'm gonna spend. Is that birds? I don't know. It's dust. That's dust in the air, not birds. Probably can't shoot that. Uh, so let's actually look. And now uh, we hit that button. Quit the game. I usually want to quit the match. Yes. Uh, I wish it'd say disconnect rather than quit because I'm like I don't want to exit. I want to stay in the game. So let's have a look now at one of the games people are playing. Server the browser. I'm gonna preface this with telling you I am terrible, like truly terrible at first-person shooters. Uh, I have a great time. And I don't expect myself to do well. I just like run around shooting stuff. And I'm like, yay! <laughs> I'm the worst person to have on your team. Now, this is another one where the screen... I don't. I just don't think the screenshots do it justice at all. I think the screenshots they've chosen are far too close quarters and don't sort of show off the, the, the grandiose level design. Although you can see what I'm saying. If you spawn up here, look. There you go. It's the first time I play. You spawn up here and you go, okay. And then you see a sign that says safe zone. And you go in... Okay, I'm entering a safe zone because there's, there's no visual cues. I just think like all the hood should be glowing blue or something. Or like the lighting should be tinted, massively tinted blue. Uh, well, that was... uh, yep, so I'm out of the safe zone now. Yeah, need more tint turn blue. So uh, it's got a nice verticality to this level. You can jump around it nice. The shipping containers are all coloured very interestingly and very sort of smartly. And there's someone shooting at me. Makes me very nervous. It'll be fine. They, I, they don't talk to me first, man. Maybe we can settle this. No, no. Yes. Oh, shit. Did I get that guy? Yeah, yeah, I got him. It's fine. His, his mate killed me, but I got him. It was cool. But as I said, this is the uh, tank class. What's that guy doing? What's that guy doing? That was dumb. Do you think he was invisible? That's weird. <laughs> it's like he wanted to die. I'm bad at these games, but I managed to kill him. He's like, he just doesn't want to be alive. Look, let's see if we can kill someone else. Oh look, many packs. Yeah, the uh, the, the health seems to regenerate slowly, uh, but the medical, the the, the medipack pickups 
is a nice touch as well. It's um, it's a nice balance between the two. It's actually a smart balance between the two because if you hide long enough, you will regenerate. But uh, you have to go looking for health if you want to. Uh, if you want to do this. Ah, crap! 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 Yeah, how am I still? These people must be terrible. Because I'm bad at first person shooters and I'm doing alright. I must. <laughs> I've just ridden around trying not to die. They're like, they're all like coming after me and getting serious and shit. Uh, estimate to them. Orange. Orange. Grey. Oh, look, the shipping container names. Reference their colours. That's cool. Oh, died. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was, uh, that was that class. Let's try a different class, shall we? Show you guys different classes. Nope, that was me choosing the same class. Okay. That was me clicking too fast and choosing the same class again. So, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to die very soon, so we don't have to worry too much, guys. They, they, they seem to like to go up high, don't they, these two? The, the, guys, on, the guys on battle it seem to want to go up. So maybe I'll go up and I'll find them. Well, that was easy. Oh, I died. Yay. I can show I can do a different class now. Yay. Yeah. The, uh, the one... Oh, there you go. The Grenadier. I thought that was fun. It was fun, but really hard. Look, you got... Very bouncy. Very bouncy. Okay, so I can't shoot through that. Wow. They're not good at all, are they? I'll probably just stay here all day, actually. They can't come in or shoot me. I'll just stay here and wait for them to get delivered, like pizza. <laughs> that might be the first kill I've actually got with this character class, actually. Yay, health! As we said, we know they like to go up high, but let's go up high. Oh, I missed that completely. Terrible game. The, the, the game's fluid enough. It um, it plays well. It's early access. There seems to be no massive bugs. Um, like I said, I had a thing where yesterday I'd use the mouse, uh, like a tab over to another screen, or I'd come back and it wouldn't take ownership of the mouse again. Wow, ah, this guy's terrible. <laughs> Poor bugger. Yeah, it wouldn't take ownership of the mouse, so I'd end up seeing the mouse uh, floating, floating around uh, around my screen. Yeah, I won. Yeah, I won. That was all on me. That was. Don't know how that was all on me. Your team sixteen, enemy teammate. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's because another guy had come in and just killed everyone. Well, I was I was happy with that though. I felt like I did it right there. I felt like I did it right there. Uh, the other, this brings me actually to one of my other criticisms about the game is. Uh, 55 seconds in between matches. This is something that Call of Duty seems to have started. The arbitrary amount of time you have to wait. Uh, the problem is, there's nothing you can do in this in this time while I'm waiting. So I go, okay, this is cool. Let me check my loadout or something. So I go, okay, so uh, let's so we'll vote a map. Yeah, uh, can we? There's no, there's nothing to do. You know, there's nothing in this arbitrary amount of time we have to wait. There's nothing I can actually go and interact with. Yeah, look, exit match. So you have to exit the match in order to check whatever this button does. Yeah, everything you do, so instead of keeping a persistent counter on the screen, uh, there's just nothing to do. So you just end up waiting around for a minute for no reason. I prefer it just to be like 30, like 15 to 20 seconds, just bang you back in. Uh, that'd be fine too. Yeah, accessories. Craps. Don't know what any of this stuff means because I haven't played enough. But uh, yeah, that's been Ballistic Overkill. I quite like it. Um, like I say, I'd like, I'd like it to keep my mouse. I'd like more visual cues. And I'd like to be able to do stuff while I've got that one minute arbitrary countdown or just not have it. Uh, but other than that, I really like the aesthetic of it. I really like the, the character classes of it. And I think it's it's a good quality first-person shooter that's not trying to do anything out of its wheelhouse. It, you know, it's sort of it's doing one thing and it's just trying to do that really well. And I think it's succeeded. I, I'm, yeah, I can see myself playing this. I'm going to get some get some friends to buy it. Maybe do some streaming of it. It's it's good. It's all right. And uh, I really can't wait to see the development because it's, it's so far what there's there I've really enjoyed. And uh, now I've done this video, I can actually play it tonight without worrying about getting all salty with it. Because I hate that when I'd like I do a game, a video on a game, and I'm all like I play too much of it, 
they were like, this is bad, this is bad. And it's like, really, I just, just stay positive, man. It's like, enjoy the game, enjoy the game. Because <laughs> I get jaded really quick. Like, this game sucks because I keep dying, which is the one I have a lot. But <laughs> this has been my first look at Ballistic Overkill. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you can like and subscribe if you like. Bye.